Harry and Meghan sheezed off as wasting donors' money causing Archul raise less than $50,000. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spent more money on legal fees for their charities than they raised in 2020, filings reveal. The Sussex's U.S. charity Archul told the IRS in December that it raised less than $50,000 in 2020, only opening a bank account last January. And documents for their UK charity Sussex Royal, which changed its name to MWX Foundation in 2020 and is currently being dissolved, show that between June 2020 and June 2021 spent more than $55,000 on legal fees including attorneys' costs for wrapping up the non-profit. Meghan and Harry's charities have been mired in controversy since their launch, revealing family divisions and were hit with a UK watchdog investigation and criticism over their use of opaque and secretive Delaware corporations. UK companies' house filings show the defunct British charity had more than $380,000 in its accounts in 2020, and spent at least $55,600 on attorneys, including about $35,000 to Harbottle and Lewis and $20,600 to an unidentified law firm. This month, Harry and Meghan's charity told the IRS its gross receipts for 2020 were less than $50,000. The lack of donations to the former Royals charity last year could come as a surprise after news of its launch made headlines around the world in April 2020. But sources close to Harry and Meghan told The Telegraph last year they were delaying any official actual projects to focus on the coronavirus pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement, and would begin in earnest when the time is right. The UK's watchdog the Charity Commission investigated but cleared Sussex Royal of any wrongdoing in May 2021. They were fully in line with governance requirements and were reported transparently, a Royal Foundation spokesperson told Vanity Fair at the time. The Commission criticised the Sussexes for potentially wasting donors' money by founding then quickly dissolving a charity. A substantial proportion of funds went into setting up and then winding up a charity that was active for a relatively short period of time, Helen Erner, the Commission's Director of Regulatory Services, said in a statement. Trustees cannot predict future events when establishing a new charity circumstances can change after a charity has been set up. But all trustees, before setting up a charity, should think about the longer term, and consider carefully whether a new charity is the best way of achieving the intended aims. When the Sussexes stepped down as royals in 2020 the Queen told them they couldn't use royal in their branding anymore, forcing the couple to change the organization's name to MWX Foundation. Meghan and Harry are set to come back to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee this year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to be keeping their diaries clear for the Queen's Jubilee weekend this year, with hopes they will be able to make their long-awaited return to the UK for the milestone event. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee falls this year and it's set to mark Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's big visit to the UK. Her Majesty's milestone achievement will treat the country to a four-day weekend from June 2nd to June 5th and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to have cleared their calendars for the special celebration. This royal news comes after Prince Charles offered an olive branch to Prince Harry amid their ongoing tensions. A royal expert has claimed that the Queen's grandson, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle are planning a big visit to the UK for the monarch's platinum jubilee, having swapped royal life and their Frogmore cottage home near Windsor Castle for celeb status in LA back in 2020. Monarchy insider Neil Sean says that Harry and Meghan's diaries are remaining free for the big weekend, but warned that their presence could overshadow the Queen on her pivotal weekend. I'm sure that Her Gracious Majesty the Queen would have enough people helping to serve the teas and possibly clearing up at Windsor Great Park, who knows, the royal commentator said on his YouTube channel.